welcome to my channel. Before I get into anything, I really want to thank for Evan's effort on designing these three themes. I saw them on Reddit on the other day and I was so impressed. So I kind of asked him if he would like to have a pastel mix variation for this theme. And you know what? He was so generous and he made me this theme. And the biggest surprise was that he actually named this theme after me. So I was so, 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 so happy because of this recognition. And I actually spent literally one hour to scroll through this theme. So I think it is worth to appreciate this theme a bit. So let's have one minute or so to appreciate this design. You can find all these four themes from the Google Drive link in the description box and you can also go to the Reddit polls to thank for Evan's work if you're interested. There's one thing I want to want to first. In single launcher, you'll only be able to launch one app in a time and you'll be able to get out of that app by pressing home button twice. So basically, you can boot into any selected app directly with single launcher when you turn on your Retro Pocket 2. You can enable them by pressing the A button. However, not every app works well with single launcher and I don't recommend you to use single launcher with your retro art. As you can see here, I can't get out of the app by pressing home button twice and that means you'll be stuck in this app forever. Well, unless you change the launcher, but well, you can't get out of the app, isn't it? only way to do so is to find the settings from your control center by pulling the control center down with your mouse mode and change the home to one of your launcher that you have been using. I'm using ATV launcher as usual and my launcher 3 is disabled so I'm not using it but if launcher 3 is the only launcher that you're using, you should not disable it and you should always keep in mind that you have to have two launchers when you are trying to use single launcher in case there's anything happen. You'll not be able to pick another app once you got stuck in one app in the single app launcher. So the only way to get rid of the problem is to uninstall the single app launcher and to install it again. So now I'm going to show you how to install and set up the single app launcher and we'll start from the Play Store. Search for single launcher or single app launcher, either one will give you the same results and press install then be patient to wait a few moments. Now you can press open to start using the single app launcher and this is just an instruction to tell you how to escape from the app that you're launching, just simply press your home button twice to escape. Find Dick 
on the app list and press A button and tada it's here but that is not the end of the setup so be patient with me Okay, so everything seems to work fine with this launcher as well as stick. So let's try to press home button to escape. So when you press it, it may ask you about this and you want to choose the application to always launch. Okay, then press your home button twice again and they will ask you the same thing and press always. And it is pretty much there. So when you press home button twice again, sometimes it just go blank like this. It is not broken. It is, you know, like it is not a perfect app. So sometimes it happens. Let's press home button again. And wow, it brings us back to the ATV launcher interface. So don't panic. It is fine. Just go to the settings and then go to home. Make sure you have picked the application to always launch as your default launcher and then press home button again. And then, well, it will bring you back to deck. And after pressing two times of home button, you get the screen for picking an app. Uh, as you want and that's it now you'll be able to boost right into dig when you turn on your retro pocket too So that's it for this video. If you think this video is useful, please give me a like and please subscribe to my channel for support. Bye.